In January 2021, I made a video about playing PSX games on Nintendo Switch. Since then, the PSX emulation has improved a lot, so I thought we'd take a look at it. In my old video, I was playing PSX games on RetroArch with the PCSX Rearmed Core. You can boot up RetroArch straight from your custom firmware, so there's no need to install other operating systems such as Android or Linux. Back then, the PCSX Rearmed Core for Nintendo Switch wasn't the greatest. Some games were getting poor performances such as slowdowns, glitches, and audio stutter. One example is Crusaders of Might and Magic, which was getting heavy slowdowns and it didn't help if you raise the clock speed. Looking at it now you can see it's running perfectly and this is on stock clock speed. Another example is Hellboy Asylum Seeker where the game suddenly freezes when you step inside the beginning of the game. Now if you play it there's no freeze at all. One bizarre audio glitch happens in Tomba 2 The Evil Swine Return. For some reason the music track for stage 1 doesn't loop but instead the track for stage 2 starts playing. This was something that also happened on other cores on the PlayStation Classic. Now the audio has been fixed. On the previous version it was very common for PSX games have audio stutter. This could be fixed by raising the clock speed. Luckily the audio has been fixed altogether, so now there's no need to overclock. One stubborn game that refuses to play on the PCSX re on core is Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. This game would just black screen and this is a problem that happens on all PSX cores. This is where Duck Station comes into the picture. With Android 10 installed on your Switch, you have access to the Duck Station app. It upscales the games to 1080p with 2x multi-sample and the aliasing. It also has a setting called PGXP Corrections, which fixes the wobbled PSX graphics. Furthermore, games have a higher compatibility rate on Duck Station. This means that games that don't run on PCSX Rearmed, such as Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, are playable. This is the only time I've actually seen this game running, so if you have trouble with booting a certain game on PCSX, make sure it's compatible and check if it runs on Duck Station instead. Interestingly, there are slowdowns on Duck Station which didn't happen on PCSX. On Crusaders of Might and Magic, the gates open when the next area has loaded. As you can see, the gates take a longer time to open on PCSX. PSX. They open quicker on Duck Station, but with slowdowns. Already there's been plenty of PSX games that have either been ported or remade on Nintendo Switch. In fact, there's a total of 33 games that have been released. Suicoden 1 and 2 are getting a remastered release in 2023. In conclusion, with the improvements of the PCSX re on Core, RetroArch is the most convenient way to play PSX games on Nintendo Switch. However, there are still games that are not compatible, so if you're looking for a particular game or want an extra boost in terms of graphics, you should go for Duck Station. What PSX game do you want to see released on the Switch? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching!